Hi guys, this video can be divided into three parts. The first part is the unboxing part. The second part is the installation guide for an Intel system. While the third part will show you some benchmarks and temps. There will be benchmarks from a socket 1200 system with the i5 11600K and benchmarks from a socket 1700 system with the i5 13500 with the Hyper 212 RGB version installed. The installation guide covers replacing an i5 3470 with an i5 3570K on an Intel 775 socket without removing the motherboard from the case. For socket 1150, 1151, 1200 and 1700 the procedure will roughly be the same. The screws, clips and bolts on the right side are for an AMD system, while these are for an Intel system. This is the back plate. I'm using the holes for an Intel motherboard to put the screws in. Now I'm placing the Intel clips to secure the screws. The fan has to be removed in order to place the brackets. Now it's time to screw the brackets into the rails. Removing the old stock cooler.
To replace the cooler, this case has a big hole. Still I couldn't get the cooler into place because the lower edge of the bottom is in the way. So I had to remove the bottom screws from the back plate in order to fit it in. I still left the clips for locking the screws on the back plate. If you want to be absolutely sure that you won't damage the motherboard, it's better to get the motherboard out and install the back plate of the cooler outside the case. Installing the bolts inside the case. Putting the bottom screws in the holes and secure the screws by getting the clips into place.
these temperatures are just an indication on how the Hyper 212 Black Edition will perform, since room temps and computer cases differ in this comparison. However, this cooler is not sufficient for modern overclockable K CPUs, as the i5-11600K illustrates in this example.